I hope that the dads that read this book, this memoir, uh, will get inspired and uh, will encourage their children and recognize that each child has a gift. You know, there is something mm. that's special about that you can encourage them to follow. Like my father saw the music thing with me, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, my dog got hit by a car and I was in Hollywood and I had to pay the vet bill and luckily they saved her life. And uh, he, uh, I had to call him for some money to, for another loan. <laughs> and I hated calling my dad for a loan. And so I said, Dad, should I just give up on this thing and come home? You know, seems like I might be uh, pushing it to Chicago. Maybe I come back home. No. No, don't come home. Stick to your guns. Don't stop believing. And I went, okay. So everything he would say to me, somehow I would just kind of doodle in my little notebook that I wrote songs in. So that's basically what happened. He had said to me, don't stop believing. And I, I took it to heart. And uh, I, I stood, you know, stood there and he sent me the money and um, great things started to happen. You know, the babies. And I called him. I said, Dad, I'm in the babies. He said, it's just a stepping stone to something huh. greater. I'm like, but Dad, yeah. trust me. And then, of course, Journey happened. And when uh, I went up to make the Escape album, Steve Perry asked me, is there, a, is there another idea sitting around? Because we need one more song. And when I looked in the back of the Spiral Notebook, there was Don't Stop Believing." And I thought, you know, Steve Perry would sing this if I could bring in a chorus of some kind. And maybe we'll, we did. So I, br I wrote this chorus and I brought it in and all of us together finished the song in a room. It was magical. Did you know at the time that it was magical? I mean, of mm. course we know the song now is, you know, ever. You could feel something yeah. going on. You know, I, I, I think when we finally heard the final mix, uh, Neil looked at me and he said, there's something special about this, John. And I was like, let's make it the first song on the album because it sounds like it, it draws a listener in, you know. Let's make it track one. So that's how we sequenced the album. And um, from that point on, you know, I don't think it was a huge hit. It, it got radio play, but we were up against Michael Jackson, you know, who was just on fire at that time. It was hard to, to get any great, uh, uh, chart positions, you know, like where you could be number one, you know. Although it did help make the Escape album number one. Got it. So the, the album it was selling at around 250,000 units a week when it first came out. Unbelievable. I mean, just those numbers are staggering today, you know? Yeah.